Well, good Monday morning to you. I'm Pastor Jay, and this is a devotional time. Well, I hope that each and every one of you had just such a wonderful and awesome time out at your respected churches this weekend. I hope that, that you were praising and worshiping the Lord with all you have. Now, this morning, I want to talk just a little bit about faith. Is it the, is it the amount of faith that you have or the quality of faith that you have? We're going to look at that just for a few moments. Before we do, let us pray. Your gracious Heavenly Father, God, Lord, just thank you so much for the services that we had out at LFBC this weekend and all the online congregation and their respective churches as well. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I want to look uh, at Luke 17, and you can flip there real quick. Luke 17, and I'm going to read uh, a couple passages out of the, the message and because uh, I want to I kind of uh, uh, bring it together and, 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 and let you see it all in kind of one shot. And it says, in the message, it says, he said to his disciples, Luke 17, he said to his disciples, hard trials and temptations are bound to come, but too bad for whoever brings them on, better to wheat a millstone necklace around their neck and to swim in the deep blue sea than to give even one of these dear little ones a hard time. It says, be alert. If you see your friend going wrong, correct him. If he responds, forgive him, even if it's personal against you and repeated seven times through the day, and seven times he says, I'm sorry, I will not do it again. Then you must forgive him. And then uh, here's our two verses, five and six. And five, it says, the apostles came up and said to the master, give us more faith. He says, increase our faith is what the disciple says. And six gives the answer. And it says, but the master said, you do not need more faith. There is no more or less in faith. If you have a, a bare kernel of faith, Say to the size of a poppy seed or a mustard seed, you could say to the sycamore tree, go jump in the lake and it would do so. If you had the faith of a mustard seed, then you could say to the mulberry tree, you could say, pull yourself up and go and plant yourself into the ocean. Well, hallelujah and praise God. Dear ones, uh, what we're talking about here is not the, the amount, the quantity of your faith, but it is the quality of your faith. It's not about how much more that you can get faith heaped onto you as the disciples were, were seeing that, that these things were going wrong with, with temptation, that, that if they were tempted and, and who was the tempter and, and having to teach all of those uh, how to deal with these different, these different things that were going on. And so they looked at God and they looked at Christ and said, oh, give us more faith, increase our faith, which is, a, which is a, literally, a, um, let me look here real quick. It's, it's literally an, an active imperative. Right, it has a sense of urgency behind it. They were they were almost scared. Give us more faith. Increase our faith, Lord. Increase our faith. Looking to to somehow be like a gas tank, being filled up more and more with faith. But the fact is, their faith, if it's not in the right thing, if their faith is not in 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 Jesus Christ and what He did at Calvary, if their faith is in somehow that if they have more of something that they can do more of something. And the fact is, Jesus is telling them here, it's not about the quantity of your faith. Hallelujah to the Lamb. It's about the quality of your faith. Who is your faith in? And do you have faith? Do you believe that he can do all that you need him to do? Well, hallelujah and praise God. Well, dear ones, as you go off to, to work or to school or to play this morning, remember these things, that it's not about how, how many faiths you have or, or how much faith that you ask to be piled on you. Who is your faith in? You see, the word of God says that you would have faith as a mustard seed. Then you could tell the mulberry tree to pull itself up. You see, in, 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 in uh, the day and time in which this was written, the mulberry tree had these long roots that just extended way down. It was strong. It was stout. It was saying that even the smallest of faith as a mustard seed, the, the, the one of the smallest seeds, even the smallest of faith can move even the, the largest of mountains or the, or the tree with the deepest of roots. So it wasn't about how much more faith could be heaped on. Hallelujah. It was about who that faith was placed on. And his name is Jesus Christ and what he did at the cross of Calvary. Well, hallelujah and praise God. But there again, my name is Reverend Jay Warlock, and I'm the pastor at Leonard's Fort Baptist Church. If you do not have a home church, why don't you come out to LFBC? I know that you'll be happy to see what Jesus Christ is doing there. Have a great day. Join us at www.leonardsfort.org for all of our newest sermons, and God bless you today.